Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Asonele Uliteu, but you can call me Rain. And in today's video, I'll be talking about the final steps of upgrading. For those who do not know, upgrading is a second chance at the matric final exams. If you're not satisfied with your matric results, you can either rewrite matric, apply for a remark or recheck, or you can simply upgrade the results of the subjects that you are not satisfied with. I have already done a part one of how to improve when upgrading your metric results, guys. So if you have not watched that yet, please click in the description box and click on the link to watch part one and come back to part two. So in this video, I'll be talking about the final steps of upgrading, which is applications and also combining your results. I'll also be responding to your comments and yeah, guys. Without wasting any more time, let's get into it. I'm going to start with the comments, guys, and then I'm going to talk about combining. And later on, I will talk about applications. So um, the first comment is, before I get into the comments, guys, please give this video a thumbs up. Smash the like button, comment, and share so that other people can come by and subscribe to the channel as well and so that they can hear this useful information. Um, also, I just want to say thank you so much for the engagement, guys, on part one. I saw your comments, you know, the likes, those that shared. I appreciate it so much. And, yeah, I appreciate you guys so much. And, yeah, let's get into the comments. The first comment is, can you change... Also, guys, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Just because ne, I upgraded, it does not mean that I know everything. No, guys, it doesn't mean that I know everything. I'm sharing everything that I know based on my knowledge, based on my experience. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with asking, but sometimes I also don't know. And so you should not just go ahead with your research and ask other people, ask people that work at the Department of Education, ask teachers, you know, tutors, just ask them more questions about this and hopefully you'll get the answers that you are looking for. So the first question is, can you change subjects? I think you can change subjects, um, but now my question is that what's going to happen to your SBA mark? Are you not going to have it? I don't know what because now you'll be doing a subject that you did not do in metric. You'll be doing a subject that you have never done. And some upgrading schools, they don't, um, you don't have assignments and stuff like that. So what's really going to happen to the 25%? The I don't know. But I think you can. I have never read somewhere whereby they say that you can't change a subject when upgrading. The second question is, can I rewrite five subjects and change one? Five subjects, and that's it. I think you you are allowed to um, change. You are allowed to upgrade four subjects. Yeah, I don't know about five. I think that's too much. And also, yeah, you can change a subject, but now, like, advice in it, advice in Why not just rewrite metric? Because like four subjects, upgrading four subjects. It's hard. Three subjects on its own. It's hard, guys. But now imagine four or five. I just I think it's better to just rewrite metric because when you rewrite metric, you have more time and also you have um, full time attendance compared to upgrading. Upgrading is a part time attendance. You only attend maybe three times a week, you know, and you have those classes here and there. So it's gonna be hard to upgrade that many subjects the next question is you mentioned something about upgrading bursaries how do they work and what are the names of the bursaries i don't think i can mention the names but um the bursaries that i was talking about are the ones that come with an upgrading school so usually at upgrading schools there are certain um bursaries there for people that would like to be funded so when you do go and register, ask the people that work there, you know, Kangelana online, you will find them. I know what I'm talking about. Um, how do they work? So the one that I was on, it paid for my tuition fees. So basically, they pay for the books and also the classes get that you'll be receiving. You don't get an allowance or stuff like that. But the good thing is that you don't pay a single cent for those books. And yo, guys... 
those books are so helpful. They are so, and you can tell they're expensive, Shem. Um, also, how do they work? So, if you do meet the requirements, they have certain requirements that you need to um, need to meet. If you do meet them and you do get accepted for a particular course that you wanna do, they will find you in tertiary. So it's a scholarship. It turns into a bursary for tertiary. Yeah. Is it accurate that if you write metric and you already had a bachelor's pass? previously you cannot combine your results okay firstly when you rewrite metric you can't combine because i get you are rewriting at a particular school ne? so you won't need to you won't it's not the same rewriting metric is not upgrading so if you are saying if you are upgrading ne? and then yeah i've heard that before they say that if you had a bachelor's pass then you can't combine your results because you can't move from a bachelor's pass to a bachelor's pass. You can only combine them if you're moving from a higher certificate to a diploma's pass or from a higher certificate to a bachelor's pass or from a diploma's pass to a bachelor's pass, right? But I don't believe in that, guys. People, I don't know, maybe things changed along the years, but yeah, you're going to hear that. But go and find out for yourself there at the Department of Education ne? or District Office. Yeah, they will tell you, La Pen, mm -mm, I call on the or what? Because I managed to combine my results, even though, you know. Hi, so let's say you did your metric in 2018 and you rewrite in 2019. When they combine your marks, what year will your statement show between those two? <clears throat> it took me six months to understand this comment, guys. Because <laughs> I didn't know what they were asking. Which year, now? So, it's always the year whereby you wrote in. If you upgraded in 2019, Wapali examinations got 2019, then is our team. With effect from December 2019. Right, but when you did not matriculate in 2019, you matriculated in your, in the year whereby you matriculated in, you know, you can't say you matriculated in the year whereby you upgraded in because you are upgrading only a few subjects, right? But yeah, it'll say so because now you have new subjects, you have new results that um, were added based on examinations in 2019, yeah. Hey, can you please brief me on how applications respond to upgrading particulars in January after we have received our results? Do we have to contact them or will they contact us? Both, my love. They will contact you, but you can contact them, you know? In January, guys, your, a lot of things were happening and then we heard from, like, this guy that we were in the same class with, Uti. They said that at UJ, they did not consider upgrading students because there were a lot of matriculants so the first priority is matriculants right so in that case they did receive our results however they were not checked so if you want to be safe send them your results via email and you know even call them even go to the campus oh i'm here to turn a book like there's this guy that was like, Mina, I had to go there and I was so angry. It was unfair. And then they checked, bang, accept. That's what he said. That's what he said, guys. You're going to have to like, you know, if you really want to get into university, reach out, you know, yeah. Hey bestie, can one apply while upgrading or I have to wait for the next year to actually apply and study in 2026? You can apply while upgrading, my love. And some universities, they allow you to state that you're upgrading. So they'll say they're, they're whereby, you, whereby they ask Uti, what is your current activity? Like, what are you currently doing? You will mention La Pan Uti, I am upgrading. If they don't have that option, we go other Upali Payana. But you can also send them an email and send them the statement that proves that you're upgrading. You can get it at the school and, or you can just upload it on the portal. And yeah.
that is all you don't have to wait for next year don't do that please apply you know even though you know that you are confident in the results that you're gonna get more than the ones that you have now it's best to apply you know right now yeah there was this comment whereby um someone said that i'm writing in a month and i wasn't taking it seriously so i asked now like i made a video mina speaking about like how you should take it seriously give it your time how you should be disciplined you know and when you comment with that like you're at the wrong video you know there's nothing that you can do at this point. Goba we has pressurized that one go click. Oh, my man, why is that tips been taken as? Yeah, because booze house ten, but if this is my best, then so I'm gonna go with Max's army best. Yeah, maybe I'll be content with the best. Yeah, and then there's this other comment whereby someone was saying I should say, well, okay, I moved from this person to this person, baby. I made a video telling you to focus on your own lane, you know, to not focus on Indos Abanya Ban Bao Ban Ban after they upgraded, they went to study medicine. You know, don't pressurize yourself or feel some type of way because of someone's journey, you know. Their journey has nothing to do with yours. Believe in yours and focus on yours. Like, what are you going to do with that information? I'm not that type of person, Numnane. I'm not here for that i'm here to motivate you to keep on going you know yeah so manje uh uh guys and as in your comments they are not for me like nah <laughs> you're playing don't tell me expect me to answer that like hi baba janina so like come to a till and move away from 30 percent why to 70 percent why you found engineering now so you found a focus on where i call like if when was born, I will figure pay and of course not figure. Someone said, Can you move from a forty percent? You can, my baby. You can move from this percent to that percent as long as you put in the work, as long as the effort here you know, your 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 hard work, you put in hard work, you want to also receive a low percent. Yeah, yeah, you can't just receive it by just wondering or like asking or yeah. As long as you study and you understand your work and you have practice and you have seen so good. Yeah, I got 80%. Uh, Pine Magam is that probability. And yes, in Magam, you trick. You're able in Magam, you evolution. And you work on that, you'll definitely get the marks that you deserve. Also, guys, if you know YouTubers that do academic videos, the math, science, physics, accounting, life science, you know, please recommend them in the comment section so that those that are in need of them, those that are upgrading or are in metric, they can know where to find them. For me, the people that helped me a lot was definitely oh, Mr. X. He goes by math and Mr. X, mathematics and science. I think so. Banzai Palapa Pantine, guys. He was my educator for e physical science, but he also teaches in maths, and he is so good at teaching. Guys, you'll definitely understand it if you struggle with those two subjects. And then also, umlungi singos umalumi, yo, yo. Okay, just go and search. You'll find him. I think Kelvin Maths, Kelvin. Does I pull up hands in I can't remember, but he also does mathematics and. Yo, he will simplify it the way that, in a way in which you will understand maths better, you know. Yeah, guys, I will now move on to the applications. Who, guys, up, up, applying as an upgrading student, um, it is not nice because they can respond based on your grade 12 results, you know. They can respond results upgrade which you know based on your final exams and then you don't yeah well but then they can come back to you and say that we notice that you are upgrading so we will respond once we receive your results in January yeah well so just make sure you pass winner so make sure you apply for what you meet the requirements for you know, apply for indoor that you think you will meet the requirements for January. 
uh uh you can even go for extended programs to be safe yeah well and yeah guys just be honest and be realistic you know don't you don't want to go through that 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 thing of being rejected again so yeah guys that is all for today's video guys i hope i managed to answer your questions and if you still have more questions drop them in the comment section and please do give this video a thumbs up i will see you guys again next time <laughs>